Hello, this is Scott from Georgia College and State University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create package and how to use package in Java. First of all, what is package? A package is a grouping of related types providing access protection and namespace management. We have to notice that the type here refers to classes and interfaces. Let's see an example here. We have a package called graphics that contain the class rectangle, class circle, and class triangle. These three classes are related to each other. Therefore, we package them together to graphics. So what are the advantages of using package? Um, using package can make types easier to find and use. It can also avoid naming conflicts. And package can also have control access. So let's see how to create a package. It is very simple, and it only takes two steps. The first step, you have to choose a name for the package. And the second step, put a package statement with that name at the top of every source file that contains the types. The types here refer to classes and interfaces. For example, if we want to create a package called graphics, we just put package graphics on the top of each class. In addition, we also need to notice that the folder name that stores the source files must be the same as the name for the package. So here is what we should do. We have class circle, class rectangle, and class triangle, all of which belong to the package graphics. So we just need to put a package graphics on top of each public class file. So let's see how to use package. There are three ways to use the package we have created. Now, the first way is to refer to a package member by its qualified name. For example, if we want to create an instance of the circle in the graphic package, we can do graphic.circle space my circle equal new graphic.circle. So that way, we will create an object called my circle that belongs to the circle class in graphic package. The second way is to import a package member. For example, we can do import graphic.rectangle. That imports the rectangle class from graphic package to the current class. And then we do rectangle, my rectangle equal new rectangle. That creates a my rectangle object from rectangle class. The third way is to import an entire package. For example, we do import graphic.asterisk. That imports all the classes from graphic package. So we can use any classes declared in the graphic package here now. For example, we do triangle, my triangle equal new triangle. So that will create my triangle object from triangle class. All right, let's do a simple demonstration of using package in JGrasp. So here we have a class called rectangle, and at the top there's a package graphics, which means this class is bundled in the graphics package. And um, there's only one method in the class, which is uh, to print out this is rectangle on the screen. So the class is saved in the graphics folder because the folder name has to be the same as the package name. So um, here is our main class. Uh, the class name is package demo, and at the top we import graphics.rectangle. Basically, we import the rectangle class from the graphics package. So in the main method, we can use the rectangle class from the graphics package. So we create a my rec object from the rectangle class, and then we call display method from the rectangle class. All right, let's see what happens after we compile and run the program. So we had to compile both classes and uh, uh, run the demo class. So after we run the main class, this is rectangle gets displayed on the console. So it proves that the rectangle class from graphics package gets successfully accessed and the display method gets successfully called. So that's everything for the tutorial. Thank you for watching.